A major data breach is a nightmare scenario for any organisation. So what are our top tips for managing this type of risk? Firstly, have a plan in place so that you're ready to respond if or when a breach should occur. Robert Mueller, the former director of the FBI, famously said in 2012 that there are only two types of companies in the world, those that have been hacked and those that are about to be hacked. His point was simply that it's foolish for anyone to think that they are immune from the threat of hackers and other types of data breaches. So if you accept that reality, then it makes sense to have a plan prepared in advance so that you can respond quickly and in a proactive way if you do get hit. This is all the more important given the recent introduction of new data breach reporting regimes around the world, including the GDPR in Europe, which allows just 72 hours to notify regulators on becoming aware of a data breach. Second tip is to develop a culture of compliance within your organisation. As we've seen through the recent Banking Royal Commission, the importance of developing a strong compliance culture cannot be understated. Unless everyone in your organisation, from the top to the bottom, understands and buys into the importance of data security, then you'll always have weak spots, and that in turn will make breaches more likely to happen. Obviously, creating a strong culture is easier said than done, but having senior managers that lead by example and make data security a prominent focus of all key initiatives is a good start. Lastly, ensure that responsibility for managing data security risks is not limited to the IT team. In the past, there's been an unspoken assumption that data security is a purely technical issue that can be delegated to the boffins in the IT department. Well, that's clearly not the case, and data breach issues are just as likely to arise from human errors or procedural failures. In fact, the latest report from the Privacy Commissioner indicates that of all the reported data breaches in the previous quarter, almost 40% were due to human error, with most of the remaining breaches caused by malicious attacks and only a small minority of around 5% caused by system faults. This means that dealing effectively with breach incidents requires engagement from across your organisation, including senior management, legal, HR, and your customer relations and corporate affairs teams, as well as IT. A full court press from all of these groups is the best way of mitigating any lasting damage from a breach.